Hello friends, today we shall discuss about export packaging. We welcome you to this project of learning export and import trade. Enjoy learning. Thanks. When packaging the goods for export, we should consider the four major factors. These factors are breakage, moisture, pilferage and weight. Packaging depends on mode of transportation and needs of the buyer and country. The package should be designed to handle the stress factors as follows. Loading and unloading many times. Storing and unloading in open. Package are stocked, pushed, showed, dragged, dropped, moved on conveyor beds, etc. Your experience and buyer's requirement are important. We should use plain box without logo or name brands. This will help in avoiding theft in transit. The cost of transport depends on volume and weight. Light weight, less volume, strong but not too expensive packaging should be selected. In container, even distribution of weight should be ensured. For convenience, in handling and storage, pallets are used. Pallets may be of plastic, wood or corrugated board. Large steel 20 foot containers are used to ship bulk goods. Packaging, containers, labeling and documentation are the most important components of shipping a package overseas. Every individual package must be shipped in the proper carton equipped with sufficient paperwork to avoid items being damaged, delayed or detained. Sometimes company will ship many items in bulk size 20 or 40 feet containers reducing the material necessary to package and label each one but even a large container has to be properly labeled and adequately documented export would create requirements we have to see certification in regard to wood used and its chemical treatment. Packaging cartons. Proper packaging helps to ensure the shipped item arrives to its intended destination undamaged. Perforation, moisture, breakage and excess weight are the four major elements to consider when choosing packaging materials. An exporter can choose between crates, barrels, heavy duty bags and corrugated boxes as long as the material is durable, puncture proof and moisture resistant. If an exporter is shipping many times together, it might be more feasible to ship the entire lot in a container as this can help minimize the risk of damages. Bulk containers Exporters use 20 or 40 feet containers to ship large quantities of unpackaged material together. When lots of material are containerized, less protection is required because the items are protected by large steel container. Because it is unlikely that contained items will be removed while in transit, the contents should stay protected and intact from truck to ship to rail. Containerizing a mass quantity of goods also helps them pass through various frontiers and ports quicker as border controllers, customs and governmental regulatory bodies only need to check one set of labeling and documentation. Labeling. Shipping regulations mandate that all packaging and containers must be properly labeled. 
Labeling helps to ensure the package is properly handled. Sensitive information that is shipment's value is protected and any safety requirements needed in handling the package are apparent. The overseas buyer can also specify additional labeling requirements such as shipper's mark, country of origin, packaging, weight and dimensions. Some international buyers also request symbolic representation for handling and cautionary marks and sometimes require warnings in the language of origin and destination. Nowadays, barcode is required on inner box, master cartons with words explaining the items for merchandised handling, storage and selling. Documentation Documentation is one of the most important components of export packaging materials. The paper trail is what authorities use to permit the package entry across the various frontiers. Conventional forms of shipping include one or more of the carriers such as air, train, truck or ocean freight shipping. For any of these forms of transportation, the shipper needs to provide an airway bill or bill of lading which is contract between the shipper and carrier. Other necessary documentation includes the commercial invoice, certificate of origin, packing list, exporter's declaration of the goods value and insurance certificate. Different countries require additional documentations such as inspection certificate, dock receipt and warehouse receipt for export licensing depending on the nature of the goods being exported. Because each country can require different documentation, it is important for the exporter to investigate the destination's paperwork requirements. The packing list must be clear and accurate for convenient clearing at customs at both ends. Drop test. Sometimes the importer require drop test passing to ensure that the goods arrive safe. It is especially important if buyers is mail order supplier. Gift box, box stepping, corners, stretch wrap, plywood used in container, lashing and styrofoam packaging will be extra expensive. So, in special cases, cost of a special packaging should be included. Do not export air. It is very expensive. Thanks.